breathing and strength tests. Go, hard as you can. Go, 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 right out to the door. MRIs. Okay, sir, you're doing great. And walking tests are all monitoring Brad Gibson's various muscle weaknesses throughout his body. Walking up hills and climbing up steps was getting harder and harder all the time. But again, you just think you're getting old. But it wasn't old age slowing the 45-year-old father of three down. He was diagnosed with Pompe disease. A rare and potentially fatal genetic disorder that results in patients losing the ability to walk and ultimately breathe. Finding out that it was such a rare disease was a real, um, yeah, a real shock. But treatments for this rare disease weren't available in his native Australia, so he had to look elsewhere. I wasn't about to sit down and just die and go backwards. His search led him halfway around the world to the University of Florida, where a clinical trial sponsored by Biomarin was underway, supervised by Dr. Barry Byrne, one of the leading Pompeii researchers in the world. His muscle weakness is due to a genetic condition that he inherited from his parents. Uh, it became more progressive as he got older and started to affect his ability to walk and, and work. Brad qualified to participate in a clinical trial that could possibly stop the progress and reverse the muscle weakness caused by his disease. The trial uses enzyme replacement to deliver a drug in Brad every two weeks that may correct an enzyme deficiency that prevents glycogen, a form of stored sugar in cells, from breaking down properly. Go, pull straight back. After six months of treatments and exercising regularly, Brad is walking short distances and climbing stairs again. I've definitely turned a corner. We're really encouraged that he feels that he's better able to do those regular daily activities. Brad will continue his treatments back in Australia. He hopes the experimental therapy will allow him to spend more quality time with his family. That I could try and live as long a life as I could with him instead of ending up in a wheelchair, on a ventilator, on a ventilator and end up, you know, being a sort of a burden. At the University of Florida, I'm Chris Billowich.